In this video, we are going to walk through some routine cleaning and maintenance for the X-Tool S1. Hey, I'm Sarah. You're watching Creative Ramblings. We talk a lot about lasers on this channel. I share all kinds of videos helping you choose a laser and then show you how to use it. One of the most important things you can do with your laser is clean it regularly and maintain it. If you do not do these things, it's not gonna run properly. So today we are gonna walk through all the steps that I do to clean my X-Tool S1. This is an enclosed diode laser with a fan in the back and I've got a honeycomb on the inside. A lot of these cleaning principles are going to apply to any laser, but we're gonna be doing some steps that specifically apply to this one. The first thing I wanna do is pull this away from the wall. So I have a number of lasers or a number of workbenches in this craft room here that hold my lasers. These are all on wheels. So I'm gonna be able to just slide this whole thing forward and then access the back. Then of course I want to unplug everything including my inline fan over there so that I can access the machine without it being connected to any sort of a power source. These are the items I am using to clean. So I have some paper towel. You could also get a soft lint-free cloth and then a couple of different cleaners. First of all, just some water. I keep this in a spray bottle. I've got some rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle and then LA Awesome. I also have a can of compressed air here. I may or may not use this this time, but you can definitely use that, especially in the fan. I've got some Q-tips. I've got just a little paintbrush to get some dust out. These are some tools that came with the S1 that are gonna help me take the screws off. And then this is the grease that comes with your machine. We're gonna use this on the rails. On the back of the machine, everything is unplugged. And we've got our vent hose right here and I'm just gonna unscrew these four screws to pull the hose off. This is a pretty dirty fan in here. There is a lot of dust, especially from wood. So we are going to use a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. Can also use a Q-tip to get into those little spaces. This alcohol is going to dry pretty quickly, but I do want to make sure that there is no dampness left in here before I put my cover back on. So I let this dry and now we can just screw this back in place. The hose is attached. I'm going to leave everything else unplugged. Roll this back in place so we can access the front of the laser. We can start really simple by just wiping down everything on the outside of the machine. If you are working with any kind of wood or anything like that, you're just gonna get dust everywhere. So just wipe it down with a damp cloth. Next, let's open this up. I'm gonna start by removing my honeycomb. We will clean this in a little bit. This is a very dirty honeycomb, so we'll address that in a moment. The one thing that you need to do after every project is clear any debris that's in here and even just take a cloth and wipe it down. Anything you leave in here can be a fire hazard while you're using your laser. The first thing we're gonna do is take this laser module out of here. So I'm gonna pop off the distance sensor. It's just on there with a magnet. I'm gonna put this off to the side and then I'm going to unplug the cable and the air assist. There's two screws on the top here that come off. And if you have another module for your S1, like the IR, this process is the same. You unplug the air assist and the cable, you take out these two screws, and then you would put in your other laser module. So that's the same. With the laser module off, I am just going to take some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and I am gonna clean everything inside this machine. Just focusing on getting any dirt and debris off that would hamper my laser. Okay. 
in the back over here is kind of where the fan comes out. And so I've got a good amount of dust that collects down there. So I really want to focus in that area too. We really want to focus on these rails here. So there's a couple, there's two sets of rails. There's one that goes across here and then there are ones on either side that go over here. So make sure you're taking your cloth and you're wiping those down really, really well. And then we can lubricate them. This lubricant we get with every X-Tool machine. You need very, very little of this. You can take this and put it on a cloth or you can just put it directly on your finger and rub it over all of the rails. Then just move everything around. So we're gonna go back and forth and up and down along the X and Y axis to really rub in that grease. And then just check your rails and if there is anything extra, you can wipe it off. So that little tube of grease is going to definitely last the lifetime of your machine. This is the base plate of my S1. It's kind of hard to see because it's all really dark in here, but I've got some major gunk built up on the bottom here. So I'm gonna come in with some LA Awesome. I don't want to get this cleaner up in all the gears here. So I'm just gonna spray it on a paper towel first and then come in and really scrub this base plate until all that junk comes off. When you are cleaning, we're not going for visual perfection. You can see I've actually got some lasered marks on the bottom here that are not coming off. This is a laser, this is a hardworking machine, but we wanna make sure all of this goop and grease is off because this will transfer onto my projects if I don't get it off of here. So much better. So let's clean the actual laser module here. This is the top. We're gonna to start by taking off these screws here. We're gonna pull off the fan top, the grate on the top here. And then we're going to clean out these fans. So there are two screws that hold each one in. So I'm gonna unscrew one of these first. And then we can pop this whole fan out. It's not gonna come all the way out because it's attached here, but this is gonna allow me to get in here with a Q-tip. Just rubbing alcohol on here. We don't really wanna get any water anywhere near this. You can also use this can of compressed air. I just wanna make sure I'm blowing away from the actual module here. That's gonna take any big debris out. but really a Q-tip, and look at all that dirt on there. A Q-tip is gonna be your best bet. This is gonna help keep the air flowing nicely as our laser's working. Then I can put this one back, take the other fan out, and repeat the process on that one. I need to wipe this grate down here. Comes off nice and easy. and then put this one back together. These two holes over here are going to go to the back side of the laser. So not the front side, but the back side. Now we can flip this over and we're gonna pull off this cover here. It just pulls right off. Undo the air assist. This is the air assist nozzle here. This is your laser module. So we can just wipe this one clean Make sure there is nothing gunking that up that would prevent our air assist from flowing freely. Wipe the other part of the cover. This right here is the lens for your laser. So we are going to very carefully unscrew this. Take a look at it. It should be nice and clear, no scratches, nothing wrong with it. If you have a scratch or a crack in your lens, your laser will not be functioning properly. You'll have issues with your projects. But make sure that everything in there looks good. 
this is the job of a Q-tip and just the tiniest bit of rubbing alcohol. Once everything looks good, we can put it all back together. It's a great way to learn how your laser works and how everything is assembled. So if you ever do have any issues, you know where to find that itch issue potentially. Now we could retrace our steps and get this laser put back in the machine. The last thing we need to clean is the honeycomb and mine is pretty dirty. I use this for all of my projects and there's just a lot of gunk and buildup on here. I've said this before, but we really wanna make sure we're not focused on perfection. We're not focused on visual perfection for our machine or our honeycomb, but we wanna clean it in a way that this debris is not then going to transfer to my other projects and it's not gonna hinder the function of my laser. So there's a number of ways you can do this. My preferred method, I can only do in the summer. I like to take this outside, spray it down really, really well from all angles with LA Awesome and let it sit. Then I take the hose and I rinse everything off, let it dry in the sun, and then put it back in my machine. It's a little too cold to do that out there today. The other thing you can do is you have, if you have a utility sink or a bathtub, you can go just set it in your bathtub, set it in your sink, spray it down with the LA Awesome, and then rinse it with a shower head or just some water that you have. Keep in mind, depending on how dirty your honeycomb is, that may stain your bathtub depending on what it's made out of. So what we're gonna do today, I have a big empty tote that this can stand up in and I am just gonna spray it down with that LA Awesome and then come back with some water and just rinse it off. Once I've got it almost completely rinsed off and clean, I will then take it over to my shower and spray it down in there. The other thing you can do is put the whole grate in a bin or on a towel and just go in with some Q-tips and some LA Awesome and just clean out every nook and cranny of your honeycomb. What we're focused on is just getting that gunk out of the honeycomb completely. You can also use this process for your slats or your triangular prisms. If you don't have the honeycomb, you can raise your material up off the base with these, and these will get a bunch of gunk on them as well. So again, put them in a sink outside in your bin, spray them with LA Awesome, and then wipe them down really good with a paper towel and water, and they're gonna come clean. Even before using any water, you can see there is already a ton of that grease coming off just from using the cleaner. Our S1 is clean, it is looking really good. I've got my honeycomb sitting over by a window in the sun, just trying to dry out. I don't wanna put anything wet back in this machine, but the amount of grease and gook that came out of that honeycomb just felt so good. If you ever open up your machine and there's like a lingering smell of a campfire in there because you've worked with a lot of good or a lot of wood, a really good cleaning like we just did is gonna get rid of some of that smell for you. The regularity of which you clean your machine is going to depend on how much you use it. Like I said before, I don't use my S1 every day, so I clean this about once a month. If you are running it for many hours every single day, you may need to do this once a week or more often. The more you clean it, the more familiar you're going to get with all the different parts and pieces, and you're gonna figure out a schedule that works best for you.
If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos helping you move forward in your creative journey. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.